Greetings, and welcome everyone to Retro Game Repairman, where we learn to get vintage video games to run on modern hardware. I'm your host Ace, and today's game is a true classic among RTS fans, Command & Conquer Red Alert 2. First released all the way back in 2000, and going on to be one of the most beloved games within the Command & Conquer franchise, Red Alert 2 remains a blast to play to this very day. It's a game that has aged phenomenally well, which is why it is unfortunate that it does not run out of the box on modern hardware, but fortunately we are of course here to fix that today. Now before I go any further, it is worth noting that the version of the game that I am testing comes from Command & Conquer The Ultimate Collection, found on the EA app, and that the computer that I am testing this game on is a Windows 10 64-bit with 48GB of DDR4 RAM, a GTX 980 Ti, and an i7-6700K processor. And with all of this said, let's dive in. So I should mention that, very fortunately, Command & Conquer Red Alert 2 is a very easy game to get running provided you know where to look to find the fix you need. Basically, all you need to do, after installing the game that is, is to download and install the version of CNC Net Launcher that I will be providing in a link in the description below. After that, you'll then want to configure CNC Net Launcher, such as, for example, shown here. And finally, make sure to set up the in game resolution in both Red Alert 2 and Yuri's Revenge separately. Congratulations! If you have done everything correctly, then your copy of Command and Conquer Red Alert 2 should be playable. With that in mind, I hope this guide has been of use to you, and I also hope to see you all again soon. But in any case, this is been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.